And so our second level that we're showing is what you guys may have seen downstairs. It's our hands-on area. This is the secret sewers of Supreme Stink. It's an official title. It's wow. very, very specific. Uh, but what we're playing as right here, this is Food Fight. You guys might be familiar with them. So him and Snapshot are the two starter pack Skylanders that you'll get. But we're not here just about Skylanders. We want to talk about some villains. And so we're going to start with, we're bringing in a life villain here. A very good pairing. Broccoli guy. It's a food fight. Broccoli guy rolls! And so this is Broccoli guy. And so Broccoli guy is a life mage. And so you'll see he casts a healing glyph. And then when you switch back to your Skylander, it'll actually heal you. And so you can imagine in co-op, one player having Broccoli Guy at the ready, another using a Trap Master, each of you healing one another. Very effective, very cool character to play as. Fresh start! Alright, so now we're going to switch over to the Air one. And what we got here is Buzzer Beak. Buzzer Beak. <laughs> And so Buzzer Beak's a small little bird with a propeller hat, which you can see you can use to attack enemies and fly. Now one of the things you guys might be noticing in between Broccoli Guy and now Buzzer Beak, all of the villains have their own theme music now. Yeah. And so every single one of the villains, you know, which there's over 40 of, each have their own unique songs, which we'll play. And that actually ties in to the new mechanic that we have for the villains. And they're actually, they don't have a, a life meter. They actually have a timer now. And so the reason that we're doing this is really to teach kids the interplay between playing as your Skylander and playing as your villain. So if you're you know, an adult gamer, you can see the L2 trigger. You instantly know, OK, I'm going to switch back and forth, which you can do when they have enough time. So Troy right now can switch back. He can switch back you know, to Food Fight as well. And so it's still as instantaneous. But during the other times when you've used them for a while, we can make them really strong, and then their life or their timer will expire. You then have to wait for them to recharge. And so kids get the experience of using them together as well. And so now we're going to show you one more. We're going to show the magic trap, which has my favorite villain, quite opposite from what we have with Broccoli Guy. Pinata. If you haven't seen Ming out yet, he barfs candy. <laughs> so if you thought lava barf from a rocker was awesome, barfing candy is, is something special. And it'll actually dizzy enemies. Uh, and what's really cool is he'll also barf out smaller pinatas that if you hit with your, your lollipop, will create a big confetti explosion, Ooh. doing extra damage, taking out you know all the other villains around. What are the two bars on the bottom? Like, I see like the, the timer thing, but like, what does it mean when one will get yeah. the purple one stop? So the way that it works is that it's in two segments. And this is actually a new Trap Master here, which we'll show you in a second. That's a Trap Master. But, so you'll see there's two segments, right? Yeah, yeah. So if the purple meter is any time point, this halfway section, you can switch to the character. But if it's uh, under the halfway, you have to wait for it to recharge. Okay. Correct. So we want to make sure that you're still able to switch back and forth between them, you know, quite rapidly. But at the same time, we also want to make sure that you know you're you're not just heavily leaning on a villain. You want to use them together with your skyline. 